Hello everyone, welcome to Piping Paradise. Today I will teach you how to provide wind and seismic loads in a scissor model. So to provide wind loads, first go to your first element of the model and double click on the wind and wave option and here you have to put the wind factor which is given 0 0.07 as per standard practice. It is actually what percentage of the uh, pipe is exposed to the wind directly. So it is uh, 0.7 and just it is so if you check uh, then you can see here that the whole piping model is exposed to the wind load because we just specify the wind and wave flows at the first element and i am showing you just delete it and let's we want that the wind loads will uh, occurs from uh, not from the first element but from the middle of the my model so just select which element from which element you want to provide the wind load i am selecting this element and just double click on the wind loads and uh, providing 0 0.07 and that's it and again i am checking the contour so now you can see the first two three or four elements are not exposed to the wind loads and rest of the model is uh, exposed to the wind load and now suppose we i am intend to off the wind load for in the equipment nozzle so let's click on that element and just turn off the wind element and you can see now this portion is only calculated for the wind loads and uh, a very important point you have to specify the starting coordinates to calculate the loads due to winds so i am here just specifying from that option double click and just you specifying xyz components and that's it and now for the seismic load again i am just selecting the first element and go to here the uniform loads option and here you can manually type the loads as per the codes you have to calculate it uh, just check out the codes like i am here x direction putting 0.1 y 0.067 and z 0.1 and don't forget to click on the g's because the seismic loads are given in g terms so and uh, and there is a seismic wizard and by the help of the seismic wizard you can calculate the seismic loads by the software so here you have to choose the code there are several codes you can check out that and here are some options and again uh, for better understanding you always have to check the codes so i am just uh, leave it default and the create and you can see here the loads are calculated automatically so now i am run the file and let's wait for it and it is the static load case editor and here uh, we I, we have to specify the wind and seismic load cases i already created it but if you want to know how to do that you can check out my previous video and you can see here all of the load cases are already been created and now we have to mention the wind loads for that here we have to choose the codes like i am here choosing is 1875 and here are four load cases to be specified because of the wind direction uh, is being assumed independently in the four direction horizontal uh, directions so you can check it and only the direction cosines of the wind is changed and all of the cases are same and let us analyze and okay we, our model is run successfully and you can check out whatever you are calculated and that's it guys the wind and wave loads are seismic loads are been calculated successfully and let's go to our model again right. 
okay that's it for today in our next lesson uh, i will teach you how to uh, calculate the flange leakage test okay so thank you for your watching